And speaking of a band that will be in town for our Ho-Ho shows, these guys will be in town December the 12th, uh, opening up for 30 Seconds to Mars. But they are in town tonight with their own sold-out point show over at the pageant. I welcome uh, Tyler and Josh, 21 Pilots. How you guys doing? Good. Thanks for having us. Very it's good. funny. You got the Stone Temple Pilots and then us. <laughs> And I just realized that. Yeah, did you just realize No, no, I really just did realize All that. kinds of pilots coming in there. A little slow, I'm a little behind. No, and it's I apologize. Fine. No, I love it. They're our inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Well, we thank you guys for stopping by and uh, and bringing in the instruments to play for us. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the things that, that I was curious about, and I had a chance to chat with you guys a little bit at Lollapalooza this year, mm -hmm. yeah. but when you guys uh, first release Vessel, I guess is your major label debut, but technically, if I'm not mistaken, your third release, mm -hmm. did you have expectations as to kind of what you wanted out of it? You know what I mean? Touring-wise, did you did you... Want the songs on the radio? Like, what were your expectations when the album was first released? Well, the, when you when you talk about releases before that first major label release, really what it is is just writing songs and recording them in your basement and paying thirty bucks to have them on iTunes, and and then there's your worldwide distribution right there. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean anyone knows it exists. So I think that with this album and partnering with uh, uh, certain people who believed in the project, we were able to kind of put a little more jet fuel behind it and truly if you were to ask us what, what's the goal what's the point mm -hmm. you know pun uh but what is what what are you trying to do I, we really want as many people to hear our music as possible and any artist who doesn't think that is probably lying to you so very cool very cool the album itself is tremendous i mean it's Thank one of those you. things man start to finish it's such a good album and and you got a lot of fans here at the radio station. So uh, it, as far as, I want to talk about House of Gold specifically. That video is fantastic. <laughs> Little twisted there. W whose yeah. idea was that, and, and where did that all come from? Uh, we worked with a, a director named Warren for that, and he came up with the whole idea of just the severed in half. And it's, it's, it's fun to think of cool ideas, but you got to make it, why, why is it that? Why are... Or why are we cut in half? You know, so a lot of you know, creating for me is to make sure that each thing that we do, you know, the band name, the song titles, the lyrics, the music videos, they all have a story. They all have a message. They all have a. If you were to ask me what does that mean, I can I can answer that for you. So um, we 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 love to make sure that each point, each part of our our artistry has a reason, and. Uh, just a brief reason on the, the the House of Gold music video. That song, House of Gold, which we're going to play for you soon, uh, I wrote for my mom. And we all have those people in our lives where we would say, I would die for them. you know. And it's actually pretty easy to, to say that you would die for somebody. Um, the tough thing is living for them every day. You know? and not, not to go on a, a preachy thing here, but like when I, when I think of being a brother to three younger siblings it, it, and, and a son to parents it's it's hard to live for those people every day it's easy to be like yeah i'd take a bullet for my sister um so so then playing with the, the the just living in between that limbo of living and dying for somebody um in this video you kind of see us severed in half and 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 barely staying alive and, and singing a song particularly to my mom there, there's very few songs that we play and i don't mean this as a slight to the other songs that we play but there are very few songs that 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 to me, I, I, that strike me as beautiful. Mm. And House of Gold is one of those songs that, to me, is just a beautiful, well-written song. I mean, it's just fantastic. Well, thank you. There are very few DJs who strike me as beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> well, this is... I like this. This, this is, is working. Very flattering. <laughs> Do you get to be as good of a live band as you are by just playing a lot, by practicing a lot, by playing a lot of shows? Is that the only way to become a really good live band? Do you have to have some kind of extra little... Little magic around there as well, you know. Josh, what do you think? <laughs> I I think that both of us kind of like when we started playing music, we kind of just did it by ourselves, and um and I know that like even now when we go home and Tyler's like in his basement and programming and and writing songs and stuff, it's uh it's him being him. And this you know you'll see what you would see on stage. Um, for me, I you know as a drummer, I just kind of like go off in some dark room and play as, as hard as I can. And I think that um, I think that if you're really passionate about playing and performing, then I think that's going to come out when you're on stage. And 
and there's nothing that uh, I mean and also people can tell I think if you're like really acting um, or if people know that you're really excited to be there and you're really excited to be playing yeah I mean I I, I guess there is you know like you say so you're kind of saying a bit like it, it's something that's that's there and you're just doing it as like a as just kind of a connect or a connection with yourself you're not necessarily trying it's it's my favorite thing to do in the world <laughs> and um so I, and I can't imagine it's like going on stage and and I I think performing with energy um I don't know how to, I don't know how to hit my like hit my drums any softer I don't think Tyler would be able to stand up there and like sing a song stationary and you know it's just, I don't know. I guess what I guess what you see is kind of like us just being. It sounds really really cliche, but it's, um, I think I think as a band you need. I I would hope that you really enjoy doing what you're doing and playing your instrument and performing um, so much that 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 shines when you play. Just comes out right if on. You, if you don't enjoy it, stop playing music. Yeah, just yeah. Stop. please. Just stop. Yeah. Just stop. <laughs> now talk about the uh, the tour you guys just got off of with uh, with Panic and with Fallout Boy. You know, I guess uh, I would think that there's a, a little bit of uh, you know pressure when you were playing you know those kinds of big venues with kind of bands that are very well established with a very well established fan base. I bet you though that's a great place you know for people to get turned on to Twenty One Pilots. Yeah, no, that tour was a hoot. <laughs> um, it was it was a lot of fun playing in front of people who don't know who we are. But, you know, we're used to that because we've been climbing ever since we decided to to start a band. You know, we've, we've been playing in front of people who have no idea what's going on um, since we started. So we really like doing that because we like to get their attention. But then also, uh, okay, don't worry. We're not like that weird. We're normal guys, too. And we really just want you to like our music and like our show. That's the thing. I think a lot of bands come across like, this is us, and if you don't like it, then whatever. Um, but I mean, why are you playing in front of them then? You know, you, you know, you know, you you want them to like you. I, it's almost like a it's almost a sin or so looked down on for for anyone or especially bands to care about what other people think. It's like you just got to not care and uh, and you just make your your art and don't even get affected by whether or not people like it. What's well, well, why? Why are you making art if you're not going to share it with someone? Why why are you why are you trying to say something in a song if you're not trying to say it to anybody? So, a, as an opening band on a tour, you kind of have to be like this is us. We we really want you to like us, but you know, we're going to work for it. So, that's how we approach that whole tour. Again, if you can't see them tonight cuz the show's sold out, it's cool. They're coming back December the 12th. Get tickets at 1057thepoint.com. I'll tell you what. And and Lux can weigh in on this one as well, and I don't want to put you on the spot, man. But like, I think one of the cool parts about your band is if somebody asks me, 21 Pilots sounds like. I don't know that you I can't. would able be, be able to, to put the finger on it to say what it is that they sound like. That's why I got here early today because I wanted to see this band because I'm genuinely excited, which as a radio DJ, we see a lot of live musicians. We see a lot of live performances, but it's 21 Pilots Day. Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing sounds like them. So if you missed tonight, I'm really sorry for you. Make sure you get your tickets to the Ho-Ho Show. You will not want to miss them. Absolutely. At, absolutely. There it is. Ringing endorsement from your afternoon mm, lady. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you so very much for your time. And, I, you know, and, and uh, I just wish you guys... The, the best of luck in future endeavors, man. And, and everything that you do, I wish you the very best of luck because it seems like you guys are on the ground floor of something that's going to blow up to be really, really flipping big. And I just want to say thank you so much for the support here because I know that I know that maybe I'm supposed to say that, but I don't want that to get confused with how genuine I am about thanking you for, for playing our shows and, and liking weirder songs like what we got going on. So thank you so much. It's well done. The album is called Vessel. It's in stores right now. Again, you're able to see them December the 12th with 30 Seconds to Mars here at the pageant, and I sure hope you're going to the show tonight. Uh, Tyler and Josh, uh, uh, I almost said 30 Seconds to Mars. 21 Pilots. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm Jared Leto. <laughs> thank you, guys. Stone Temple Pilots. All right.